First, we're going to have a brief overview of the Bennu Operations Portal dashboard, part of the Bennu Cloud infrastructure. From here, we can see network statistics for all of the UCP nodes which have registered with the Bennu Cloud. These network statistics can let the operator know how the overall network is operating and monitor network, network bandwidth as well as online device count, device mode, tunnel stats, and device authorization state. Currently we can see 15 UCPs have registered with the Bennu Cloud. Among those UCPs, uh, there are five devices online. This is a node list of all of the UCPs which have registered with the cloud. And currently we can see that we have seven devices which are online and reporting statistics. As we power on our UCPE, it will automatically, as it has been pre-configured on day zero, automatically phone home to the Bennu cloud and um, be reg ready for operation. All you need to do is plug in the WAN cable and your clients will be up and browsing with instant internet access. Here we have a UE which is just browsing to YouTube. Optionally, you can have the UCP pre-configured to do Bennu integrated security. We do have that enabled, so we're going to have the UE also browse to a known phishing website called bankofamericaamerica.com. And we'll see that that will get blocked by the integrated security solution. And now when we're going to go back to our operations portal and check out our node page, we can see our number of nodes has increased from 15 to 16, and we'll have one more online UCP, and that will be the one at the bottom, so one we just performed browsing test on. So currently there's been no identifying information assigned, so we're going to go ahead and do that. This is a Dell VEP1445, so we'll name it as such, place it in Burlington, Massachusetts. Now that it has been renamed, we can go to the Node Details page. From the Node Details page, we can see a lot of information about this UCP, including how many cores are available, how much memory, and how much storage is available on this unit, um, as well as several network statistics, which can help characterize the network and how the UCP is performing on-prem. We also see there are 16 interfaces down below. Currently, we don't have any network services or VNFs running on this, but we have six cores available. Uh, so let's go ahead and start up an enhanced security service. This is when the customer wants to use something else in place of the Bennu integrated security. So we're actually going to start up a security service, which involves FortiGate. This network service starts up a FortiGate VNF and a Bennu Boss VNF, which is an analytics service. On the right side, once we hit instantiate those, those services, we can see our, our submitting notifications on their state. And once they're up and running, they'll report that they have booted up. Now that FortiGate is up and running, the UE will be provided enhanced security by FortiGate as opposed to the Bennu integrated security solution. So we'll perform the same test. And the UE will first browse to YouTube, which is a permitted web page. And then the UE will also go back to that same phishing page, bankofamericaamerica.com. Now we can see the web page has been blocked, but this time it is by Fortinex Secure DNS Service. If we go and click on this network service, the Security Analytics Service, we can see what is all involved with that service. So we have two constituent VNFs, which are both up and running, as well as their current memory usage uh, network and individual network statistics for those VNFs. Here we're looking at the FortiGate networks. And uh, we provide access to the FortiGate management port in case you need to get in there, check stats, or do configuration. Here we can see the FortiGate dashboard.
back to the network service details page, we can now perform individual VNF lifecycle management operations on the VNFs which are part of the security service. Let's go ahead and pause the FortiGate service. The VNF is reporting its state live and we update that on the dashboard. Now we've resumed FortiGate and it goes back to the running state and is operational again. Let's create one more network service. Considering we still have eight cores to work with on this, we're going to start up another VNF. This one is going to be the Juniper VSRX router. This is as simple as hitting the button to instantiate pre-configured network service. You can see here now the Juniper router is booting up on-premise. You don't need to send a truck to set up the, the router and configure. It's as easy as instantiating a network service. Once the VSRX router is up and running, we can see its allocated cores, memory usage, and storage. Now we can also go and visit the router's dashboard and monitor or do any kind of configuration that might be required. Now, in the case where we have a customer site where some expansion is happening and the business is growing, we might want some more advanced features like SD-WAN. So we're going to remove the VSRX router service and start up another service which provides a little bit more on the SD-WAN front. So let's go ahead and actually instantiate a VeloCloud SD-WAN service. As the VeloCloud SD-WAN is booting up, we still maintain connectivity and we can monitor the UCP node throughout the process. The UCP node will continue reporting statistics like latency, DNS latency, um, as well as TCP statistics and overall packets. Once a VeloCloud SD-WAN is up and running, we should see it register on the VeloCloud Orchestrator page. Here we're going to look for this VEP1445 UCP edge to come up. Currently it's still in the down state. And now we've received a notification from the UCP that VeloCloud has finished booting up. check once more on the orchestrator to verify that that is the case. Now the status has become green and we can go ahead and click on the statistics for this specific UCP edge VM. We can see that on the WAN side um, this is receiving a full 1 gig throughput uh, based on the bandwidth test shown above in the Comcast business section. We can also see that the VeloCloud has begun characterizing uh, the traffic through the UCP. For now, that will conclude the demo.